Hello YouTube, I hope everybody is doing fine. This is a long, long overdue of the Maker Fab's new 3.5 inch IPS display with capaci capacitive touch, which is obviously not in this code. And uh, the difference between this one and the first one that was sent to me is this one is using SPI connection and this one is using 16-bit parallel connection otherwise it is the same display they of course did an upgrade to the board as well uh, main difference is that they're using now an ESP S2 uh, chip module instead of the regular uh, ESP32 and they have added these connectors uh, what are they called JST connectors instead of the regular uh, female pin header connectors and uh, have a micro SD card and capacitive touch it also comes with a resistive touch Although I don't know who would ever use resistive touch if there is a capacitive uh, available. It has two USB inputs, one for uploading code and one for just powering it. And it has a, I have to look, reset and a flash button. And um, uh, what you can see here on this board is I had, well, I use this to um, design my ESP based CAN gauge uh, um, instrument for my car and I designed this uh, case also you you might have seen the video I had then have this manufactured uh, in aluminum and uh, that is in my car right now and anyway, here I added accelerometer chips, uh, canvas interface chips. Although the ESP does have canvas, but I never had uh, much luck getting it to work. And I added an LDR for backlight lighting. And I had to put some resistors over here and take the backlight uh, out because you could not adjust the backlight. Uh, but anyway, this is how I did work on this board before designing my own board which you can see here uh, I kept the tabs uh, just in case I would need them but obviously these were then cut off on this PCB as well so they, it would go into the case so this is that this is practically this is what this is only in my own PCB and I added a GPS as well and some other sensors anyway but it's not about this it's about uh, this and here you can see on the demo there are 200 objects there I did not count them I can even follow them with my eye uh, and it's running over 100 frames per second so there is a huge difference in by using SPI versus parallel. Uh, you can also use it with 8-bit parallel, but this is wired for 16-bit parallel. I'm not sure if you can use actually in 8-bit parallel. But this is the example and it is crazy fast. I wanted to do a direct comparison to this one. But I can't because, unfortunately, uh, this is using the Lovian uh, GFX library. And on here, I'm using library from Bodmer, the TFT underscore ESPI library. But uh, you can see how slow this is. Unfortunately, the TFT ESPI library does not support and will not support 16-bit parallel uh, 
connection of the displays. It does support the display, but not the parallel connection. And I would have loved to get this working on this, but unfortunately I can't. And um, that would be a very, very nice comparison, but I can see how much faster and more fluid it would be on the 16-bit parallel. So it's really sad that Bartmer does not support 16-bit. Uh, and but I can understand that he supports like hundreds of displays and uh, uh, it might just be too much work. So anyway, um, sorry for not being able to make a one-to-one -one comparison, but I mean you can see how fast this is. Let me hit reset here. I mean it's like instantaneous. The flashing is from the backlight. What I do in my codes is actually I let the display initialize and then turn on the backlight so you won't see any flashing or ghost images. But it is crazy fast. But of course it uses 16 pins of the ESP and it still has the same number of ESPs, it's just a faster version and but uh, anyway uh, let's the version and the display here are covered by my PCB here but it is a beautiful board unfortunately and uh, probably due to the uh, lack of uh, pins available they did drop the camera feature this board has a connector up here where you can connect the camera and it had all kinds of different uh, examples to use the camera that is unfortunately lost here so I think, I mean, I started with the UNO, the Atmega328 chip. Uh, I migrated some of my products to the ESP, uh, especially also for the Wi-Fi and Bluetooth capability. And um, now I'm actually uh, migrated to the smaller version of the ESP module, which is this guy here. Let me pull it out. And this is like really tiny compared to this one. And uh, anyway, I have a product coming up with this. And uh, but this is the display, 16-bit parallel, and crazy fast. Unfortunately, I did not find any. Um, other advanced uh, examples to use on here and um, obviously it also has a micro SD card so you can upload images or Wi-Fi or SD card or whatnot and um, yeah this is uh, basically it as I said it comes with a capacitive touchscreen and it comes with a resistive difference is like a couple of bucks really not worth going with the resistive get the capacitive I have still the Toposo will hate me <laughs> still have the protective film on there I leave it on till I know what I'm gonna do with it and um, I will put the link in the description to this to make a fabs and they have also of course a website where they explain everything of this and um, with examples and the schematic for the board and whatnot and the GPIO pins that you can use here everything is explained and I will link this page as well in the description and here's the benchmark test it is way faster than with uh, SPI but it's just numbers I mean if the number is four times smaller you know it's four times faster and whatnot but seeing it visually it uh, tells much more
and um, here you see the difference between four wire SPI and 16 wires parallel. Oh, what I was gonna say is I think it's uh, time to upgrade to another chip with even more pins so you can use this with 16 pins connected to the MCU and have plenty of left for other things that you want to integrate and this is it so again maker fabs very 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 sorry for the delay but i've been through a lot in the meantime and uh, just did not get around to it uh, i have this running actually on my uh, christmas tree uh, well the one that i showed with the connectors so you can plug in the, the type c connector to power it Anyway, it's been running ever since and uh, it's just been running, so no problems, it's, uh, you can run it 24-7, 7 days a week, it's been running over a month over there, so uh, for, no, let me show you what I mean over there, over here that's my tree, here are my various uh, own products and this has type C connectors where I can plug it in. And it is running over there for over a month. So, just uh, in case I'm, I am uh, repeating myself, but I'm very sorry, Maker Fabs. Thank you very much for sending it to me. And it is a great upgrade to the previous version. And definitely worth getting into. And once you use touchscreen, I mean, my ESP gauge uh, does not have a single button. It's all over touchscreen. And once you use touchscreen, it's so much better than using keys. So, um, anyway, this is it. Thanks for watching. And in case you're watching it within a day or two, if you're subscribed and hit the notification bell, uh, I wish you a great weekend. And I will see you on the next time. Thanks.